Hey there, scientists. I'm certain a lot of you are scrambling out of your homes to get ready for the day. How exciting. How many of you are going to be going into a classroom this week? Wow, so many. I am too. I'm really excited to have somewhere to go every day and to also not have to look through a screen to see all of my students. Even though things are changing back to what we once knew, there are still some things that haven't and won't change. For instance, there are still some friends of mine that I have to use technology to contact because they live so far away. Let me tell you a really short story. I was talking to a teacher online and there was something weird going on in their background. I thought it was so odd that I recorded part of our conversation. Actually, why don't you watch it? <laughs> in the recording, I point out what I notice. Let's check it out together. On this computer. Okay. All right, so Marco, how has it been teaching in France? What's it been like there? Uh, it's been, I've been teaching Spanish here and uh, it's uh, for almost uh, three years. Wow. Yeah. Do you teach kindergarten, first or second grade, like the teacher, uh, like for our show, or do you teach older kids? I teach older kids. Um, I have, a, I am a high school teacher. <gasps> Isn't it scary working with the older students? Uh, a little bit, but uh, I like it. But I, I also prefer working with, with kids but I will add to maybe one day. Oh, maybe. Oh man, I just have so many questions. Uh, what's it been like teaching during COVID there? Because for us, it's been so different and we even have a TV show, SF Love Learning. So what has it been like for you teaching during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, teaching uh, during this uh, pandemic is, uh, is uh, definitely a challenge for every, everyone around the world, I think so. Um, but here in France, uh, we were teaching uh, half of the students in, 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 uh, in the school, and then uh, the rest of the students are learning from home. So we have oh. online, online classes as well. Oh, awesome. Um, now I have another question that's not about teaching. All right. Are your, are your lights off at your house? It's so dark. Yes, I'm a, it's a little bit dark because here in France it is uh, 8 p.m. So I have my lights on. As you can see, look at, I am in my balcony. If you can see the lights from the houses behind me and the dark, the sky, it's completely dark. But, what time but, is it in San Francisco? It's 12 p.m. That's why I'm so confused. How is it 12 p.m. here and 8 p.m. there? It is because <laughs> there is the one reason, I think so. Oh, I don't know what that reason is. I'm just so confused. Like, look at it. It's out here. It's so bright. The wow, sky is it's blue. Very, very sunny over there. Yeah, exactly. Sunny. That's the word I'm looking for. And yours is dark. I can't even see the moon. So you said it's 8 p.m. there and it's nighttime? Yes, it is. It is 8 p.m. and it's nighttime and we're already getting for dinner. And then after that, we go go to bed. <laughs> You're going to have dinner? I'm barely about to have lunch. Yeah. I don't. You know what? I think this is gonna have to be an investigation for my TV show. What do you think? Do you think the students would like to investigate this? I think so, it will be interesting, why not? Definitely, yes. I need to know the answer. Ooh, I, I just cannot believe this, this is wild. Did you see that? Their sky looked so different from mine. What time of day was it for me, maestra? That's right. It was daytime. What time of day was it for my friend in France? You're right, it was nighttime. Hmm, scientists, how did you know the difference between the two? Oh, interesting. I heard some scientists say that my video was brighter and had sunlight 
while my friend's video was darker and had more indoor lights? I agree with both answers. My friend also said it was 8 p.m. there when we were filming on our video chat, but it was 12 p.m. for me. Scientists, how is this possible? Why doesn't our sky always look the same? Why was it dark in France, but sunny here in San Francisco? You're not sure? Me neither. Maybe this should be our investigation this week. Should we investigate why the sky doesn't always look the same? I agree. Let me post my question. Why doesn't our sky always look the same? But I just thought of a question that will help us start answering this one. Scientists, does our sky always look the same in San Francisco? You're right, it doesn't look the same. What are different things that we see in the sky during a day? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. so many answers. I heard the sun, the moon, clouds, rain, stars, and many more things. Wow, scientists, it seems like we already know a lot. Let's write or draw down uh, these important things. I want us to remember this. I'm going to write what I can see in the sky. What I can see. Let's make these two little eyes. What I can see in the sky. Awesome. Now, I'm going to put up some of the things that you said. So I heard someone say, we can see the sun. We can see the moon. We can see stars. We can see clouds. And I think I also heard rain. Oh. So. There are some things here that we never see at the same time. For instance, I never see the sun and stars at the, at the same time of day. That is proof that our sky changes. But how does it change, though? though? Does somebody just throw a blanket over the sun? Or does some giant ride across the sky and bring the sun up every day? Or maybe not. Huh. We must investigate this, Cientificos. I need to know. Today, I want you to enjoy the rest of the show, but I also want you to go outside when it's bright and when it's dark and say what you can observe in the sky. Be ready to think about this tomorrow. I can't wait to learn with you then. Nos vemos. <laughs>